So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Oh, I've been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. What's all this stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. Looks like some kind of storage room. There you are. Should we keep looking around? Looks like another part of the facility. Don't think I'm getting through that door right now. I should turn back, see what else I can find.
What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proving. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. That door leads to the west exit. But before you leave, we have much to discuss. Right. There's a trail that leads towards Plainsong. So I could head back east if I need to, once we're done here. Correct. Hey Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. Yes. Inish all tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is... You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. and Aluvia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors, and a, um, uh, 
Huh? A clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes. This was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the ex prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers, a distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross. Okay, so... What's... The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Farzine... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. I don't... What? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that... Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... Yes, that is my... The three subordinate function. All three are relevant. Ether is res Poseidon controlled. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and if all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to. But beware. Their responses to my queer. In human terms, they are fright. Like Minerva. Exactly. The missing subordinate functions. Artemis rewild Eleuthia was responsible for culturing a new gen. Apollo was tasked in disseminating. Unfortunately, all. Pharaoh, huh? Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic. All three of the missing functions have or were. Prevent. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase. Them. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared. You said you need Hephaestus to save- Every subordinate function has- Only by recovering and merging and mass produce new machine- Only through it can I pro- And alter the tasking of exist- Recovering other subordinate but without Hephaestus. Given Hephaestus- I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched- I am operating at less than one-fifth. 18.8. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other one. A merge cannot be attempted. And how many subordinate functions are- Merging Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand, exceeding that of Hephaestus. You said Hephaestus is- Correct. Which are confined to discrete physical- Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planets called- so, when the time comes to... Spin. I do not know. While you are retrieving the procu- I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been- You'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes. And to program their behavioral routines. So, could you build an army of machines- Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take- it is in my nature to take any and all necessary human life above all. So yes, once I have been imp I could design, given the nature of- I must admit, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. Indeed. The sole purpose- Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to- At this point, we can only spec- I mean, Earth posed no threat to- We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't- True. Unless- well, the strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup. I mean, if they did that. If they booted the until she could take control of Hephaestus. Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction snuff out life. And then potentially to put to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we- But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. You said Sirius is- 81 trillion kilometers. Right. So... Uh, On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced, the journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost... This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years, at an average of 0.297. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years. 
Okay, enough. He... The descendants I ran into at the hate of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with, right? Yes. As your own, in effect, as a key to the... T but... The Odyssey carried approximately two millions of animal zygotes and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic mat with or without her knowledge, and ca- That's... Okay, destroying Elizabeth's- It's- It is difficult to know. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and- Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? The extinction signal didn't just wait, it made every subordinate functions. I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades and the partial sentience imparted to- Hmm. So you have been sent by someone who had- Yes. The signal's design- Were its intentions less malevolent? I would admire the intellect or intellects that- So if the descendants came to Earth on a- I guess we can assume that their technology is- Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving, they appear to make extensive use of robotics. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has a venture. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and you- No shielding could withstand- So there's hope. Always. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Syria? The key came with data on- From Silence Interrogation of Hades. The duration- oh, That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you- Because the sender didn't know that had happened. Which would take another 8.6 years to get- Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal- With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relic- Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only- What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. And you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. I guess I should get going. What can you tell me about their look? When my predecessor just the subordinate function sought fit. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful co- Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. It appears to be in the middle of tonight. My knowledge of that tribe is limited, but they seem to have a significant incline. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and- Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of the- My substratal geography did that a major old world- A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Agreed. It appears to be located on the co- Unfortunately, I am unable to provide- As such, it may be the most difficult- Okay. 
So, three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control to permanently stabilize the body. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective. I will also trend a summary of available data on... Is there anything else I can help you? I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. She had a dream for you, for... And... A lot has... Do you think I can do it all? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in you. All you prevailed in purging Hades and reboot. Thank you, Kaya. Well, I, uh... I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads, the other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should- Ball? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to the- Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Okay, I need to bring Aether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first, check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Oh, skin's cracking from the cold. Hey, what happened here? What do, what do you care? Don't you? Has it happened? No. You know, I was already having a crappy day, and now these, these two idiots picked my shift to climb the damn mountain. Wouldn't be so bad if this one weren't so heavy. Wait, two idiots? Did I stutter? Yeah, two. I heard another one shouting up top. Sounds like they got caught between sharp claws and a sharper fall. Someone's in trouble. Aren't you gonna do something? <laughs> Self-inflicted. And I got my hands full with this one. You're seriously not going to help. You seriously are? <sighs> Someone's in trouble at the top of the cliff. I better get to climbing.
Like I'm on the right track. Better hurry. I can. Let's have a 
a word, stranger. Are you hurt? Oh, I, my so-called bodyguard. It was uh, hard to miss. Oh. A mountain climbing machine hunter. Oh, at least I don't have to pay. What are you doing up here? That used to be a signal tower. In some very specific circles, it and since the Karja are planning on tearing them down, liberate the lens before it got destroyed. You get it for me, and I'll make it. You said that was a sick. In its day, it was a sight. They used to warn folks, as you can imagine, the hence the fans. So. I'm more what you'd call an op. Look, they see no value. See? It's a uh, opportunity. Tell that to your friend up. <sighs> Self in. Why can't you do it? Look, even if I hadn't hurt my ankle here, I'm. Oh, come on. That's not what my. I already found. Oh, well, let me take the. This should. I'm an honest. Thank you. Aloy. Reyna. Well, but I'll stick. No pressure. Proud. No, let. Not yet. Oh, well. Signal devices. Should be a lens I can grab for Reyna. Got the lens. I can trade it with Reyna the next time I see her.
Did you bring got what you want? Couldn't have here. You let me know. Hey, I thought you'd left by now. Must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Bloodstains. It's as good a place to start as any. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. I see plenty of tracks from the car to search party. Not helpful. Broken branches. Was someone up here? from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. <sighs> Lost the trail. There's too many machines walking around. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them. I wonder if there's another cauldron that over I dig on that one.
Try to treat their wounds before they went on. I should be able to follow their tracks. I know they can go off too. Injury, I'll bet he's on his last legs. This looks like a good place for someone to hide. on a whole garrison. Won't be easy. We don't know Larvik's dead. He hasn't shown at the rendezvous point. So either that fool guard killed him, or he lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates. And then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra, and now he's dead too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first we have to get past Baron Light. Next change of guard we go in fast and loud. Conover was right. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone else. I'll pay back every guard with a few codons.
more eclipse beyond the daunt. If this Rayad was their only link to them, he might have a focus. He could tell me where they are. Rayad. That trail must have been his. He bled out trying to get here. I was right. Rayad has a focus. Loyal Eclipse. If you're seeing this, your journey is almost follow the sun beyond and bask in the I'll have to pay this Vezra a visit and crush his new eclipse empire before it begins. There's coordinates here, up past Baron Light. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conover's innocence. I better take it back to Baron Light. When we fought the Eclipse back in Meridian, I thought that'd be the end of it. Guess I was wrong. Good use of this.
Look alive, soldier. She's back. Aloy! Did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest. And they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. Aloy, you know I believe you. But the other officers, they may not be convinced by your words alone. If they need proof, show them that. And tell them this man risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to the right people. That's it, then. The end of the Eclipse. <sighs> Almost. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader is dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop them, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I want to help. I can fight. I know you can. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, you should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, Savior. <laughs>